Hello everybody. In the video today, I want to talk to you guys about different teeth whitening products, more specifically ones that you can use at home, which ones are better than others, which ones just don't work and why, and why you really want to look for a built-in desensitizer in the products that you use. So I do try not to use company names for the most part, but in order for me to tell you which ones I use and which ones I like, I am going to mention some company names. But those products that I don't really like and that don't work, I'm not going to mention names, but you guys will probably have a pretty good idea of what I'm talking about. So first of all, do toothpastes work? So toothpastes do and they don't. But the thing about toothpaste are you need to keep in mind that whitening toothpaste will only work to remove surface stains. And only if they haven't really been there for very long. So for teeth whitening toothpaste to truly work, you need to get your teeth professionally whitened first to lighten that overall shade of enamel and then any stain that comes after that, your teeth whitening toothpaste don't have to work too hard to remove that stain and that's fine. But if you have stain that's been there for 10, 20 years, a simple toothpaste isn't going to make it any better. It will make things appear lighter for sure, but it's not really going to take away those surface stains. And teeth whitening toothpaste, you have to be careful because if you have thin enamel or cold sensitive teeth to begin with, teeth whitening toothpaste might make the teeth a little more sensitive because they're working harder to take away that stain. So ask your dental hygienist if you are a good candidate for teeth whitening toothpaste. There are certain toothpaste that I don't like and I'll tell you the ones that I do like. So my two favorite ones are actually um, Black is White by Oral Science and I love the AP24 toothpaste. So I actually use both of them. This one I actually use every single day because I find it really helps to keep my teeth as white as possible. I drink a lot of tea and a lot of coffee. I used to have to have my teeth cleaned every three months just to get stain off because I like to have nice teeth. I'm a dental hygienist, makes sense. Since using this toothpaste for about two years now, I have not had to go as often to get that stain taken away. But I also really like a charcoal toothpaste because what it does is it just basically gives a quick boost to make the teeth look lighter because it does, the toothpaste is black. It will make the teeth look so much whiter plus give that overall super clean feeling. So both of them basically do that. But what I tell people is this one is just kind of a maintenance thing. I find the charcoal toothpaste just helps to give it the extra boost. So I use both. I will use this one every day um, and I'll use this one probably three times a week. But I'm also one of those people where I don't like to use the same thing all the time. So that's why I kind of mix it up. You could use either or it's totally up to you. They both work amazing. Um, so those are the two toothpaste that I really, really like. But what I do also suggest, I say the same thing to my patients, get a take home whitening kit. So I like this one by Wicked White Pro. And for the holidays, it comes wrapped in this nice little bow, which is very, very easy. But I love this one because it's reusable and it works. It has a built in desensitizer. So what's the difference between this one and the other take home products you see out there? Well, this one has two different types of peroxides. You need two different types for the whitening to work. So this has hydrogen peroxide and carbamide peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide basically does get the overall teeth whiter, takes away stain, changes the actual shade of your teeth. Hydrogen peroxide, we should all know using that will make things whiter, cleaner basically, right? But carbamide peroxide is also needed to keep that whitening effect. A lot of the take home products, actually all of them, all of the take home products on the market that you can buy in store only have hydrogen peroxide in it. So your teeth might look whiter, but we all eat, we all drink, it won't stay white without that carbon peroxide layer protecting everything. So you need both. I love this one because like I said, it's reusable. It has a reusable tray with the LED light built in. You do not need the LED light for your teeth whitening, but the LED light helps to speed up the chemical reaction. Means that it makes a difference of whitening your teeth for two hours 
for the same result or using this one for 30 minutes and getting the same result. You want a light to speed up the chemical reaction, okay? It just makes things better. And it's reusable. I can't say that enough. A lot of take-home products out there are not reusable. So sure, you might be spending $60. This one's about $115 right now, sometimes $120, depending if there's a sale. Yes, this one's more expensive, but it's going to last you forever because it's reusable. The other ones that you buy from stores are not. You use it once for a week, two weeks, and then you have to buy another one. And without the carbon peroxide in those ones, it's not going to last anyway. This one comes with two um, whitening syringes as well, can last one to two weeks, depending on how many you are using. How I use mine is I will whiten every day for about four days for 30 minutes, my teeth look amazing, but I do suggest get your teeth professionally whitened first because we can kind of determine what shade you need to be at, okay? This will only get you so light so far. Um, if you are to whiten every day for a month, you will get very, very white, but that can make the teeth sensitive. So we do suggest to whiten once a day for three days, four days, maybe even two weeks sometimes, but not more than that. If you're a heavy smoker, if you drink a lot of coffee, a lot of tea, it's a better idea to get your teeth professionally teeth whitened by your dental hygienist first, and then use this kit to take home to boost your results every month. You save a fortune that way, and this is reusable. I say the same thing to all of my patients. They come to me to get their teeth professionally whitened first. I charge about $200. You can go very, very light, very, very white, no sensitivity in one hour's time. It works right away. And then I, I give them this to take home to boost their results. So let's say they have a special occasion coming up. They don't have to come to me, pay $200 to get whitened again. They get this kit, they can keep reusing it and use it whenever they want for a couple days and go back to that whiteness that they had when they first had their, their teeth whitened with me. It's amazing. Um, and the refill syringes are about 10 to $15, depending on which one you want and depending on the strength of the peroxides that you need. So it's pretty awesome. So there's different things you can use. Let me know you guys if you have any questions. I hope this helped. It's always good to have your teeth looked at by your dental hygienist first because you might have thin enamel. You might have stain that just won't lighten depending on how your stain is there in the first place. If your teeth came through and developed that way, then chances are the shade won't lighten. It's more for surface stains. If you have multiple cavities, it's not a good idea to use a teeth whitening product because those peroxides can get into that cavity and ouch, that would really hurt. So it's a good idea to check with your dental hygienist first. So let me know you guys if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Click like if you guys like this.